Okay, so um, this is supposed to be a personal read, but the person that I'm doing it for, um, I'm just going to make it like a, a everybody read, a general read, but she knows who I'm talking to and I'm talking to everybody else. Like, Spirit is telling me to do it as a collective, even though it's for her. But when she watches, she'll know it's for her, but it's for the collective. Okay, so it's about gang stalking. Um, I just feel like, you know, we all go, we, it's a lot of us going through it, right? Oh, I mean, and it's, it's a lot of shit to learn about it. You can learn new, new shit about it every day. But what I'm getting is, um, like, sell me, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You know they there. And then it's like you will test the, you will test the waters. Be like, okay, let me see if this really happened. Let me do this. Let me maneuver. Let me do this to see if this person really doing what I think they're doing. And you find out that they are. Then you, it's already, you already know you've been against. I don't give a fuck where you at. It's going to be one somewhere. I don't care where you at. It's going to be, some, it's going to be one or two or a, a group. Or it's going to be some of them somewhere. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. You're getting out, going in the store. You're going in the mall. You the motherfuckers there. You're going Walmart. The motherfuckers there. You know what I'm saying? It's just they they gonna be there. Now as far as like people around you that's doing it, they just like everybody else. If they ain't doing it, they know about it. And it's like at this point, them people powerless. They doing what they feel is right. I guess even though they know it's wrong, they doing what they feel you know is right. I guess and then you know these people trying to get paid. You know what I'm saying? They they so they so damn smart that they don't, and they can't get a regular job, or they just don't want to because they're being lazy. So, this is what they resort to. You know, and a lot of people they follow their parents' footsteps, and you know they don't know how to break these generational curses like us. So we have to go through more than you know what I'm saying. And it's like by us being woke, and, and they know who we are. You know what I'm saying? Is we just a target? You just have to realize that once you, I mean, it, it, it I, I guess that, uh, I, I guess after a while you get used to it, because, I mean, and then you won't pay no attention, but that's the key thing, don't pay no attention, you know they can't touch you, they can't do nothing to you, don't be more, more than what they doing now, you know what I'm saying, um, that's what I'm saying, they powerless, they powerless. And, it, and you know they powerless if it takes so many of them and it's just one of you. And you you still here. You still woke. You still walking around in the motherfucker with your hair here, huh? You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they just powerless. And as soon as you realize that they don't matter and you just carry on about your day, let them do what they do. Let them parade around this motherfucker. Let them do what they do. Eventually, they won't be able to do it. Karma is a motherfucker. I keep telling y'all that. Carmen, don't, don't uh, miss an address. Don't skip a beat. Just let them. It, it, one day, it's, it's going to come to an end. I promise you it will. But until then, you just got to keep going. I mean, it happened to the best of us. Evidently, it's something about you. You got to be special. It's something about you that intrigues these people. That they got to stalk you. In. And then, that's what I'm saying. The world that stalk you, they know you ain't. You They know you ain't did nothing. That's the thing. They doing it and they know they wrong. They know you ain't did nothing. They know you innocent. But it's just a job. That's what I'm telling y'all. It's just a job. Whether they like it or not. Because if they stop doing it, then what's going to happen? They got to go through what you're going through. And they not built for a tough like you built for a tough. To withhold, withstand all this shit that's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than just gang stalk. It's more than that. You know, you going through spiritual warfare. The best thing you could do is put your arm on, baby, and go to war. That's all you can do. Put your arm on, get suited and booted, and get ready for war. You know what I'm saying? Don't never, don't let your guard down for nothing. Keep your guards up. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first, cause you can't do nothing without Him. I know I can't. I wouldn't have got to where I am if it wasn't for the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So just look at it like you know. It, it's just hey. You stick out like a sore thumb. What can I say? You, you stick out like a sore thumb. Your ass walking around here, uh, 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 light, bright, bright light. I'm just saying, she, it's your light. You know what I'm saying? They know who you are. Just accept it. Once you accept the fact that you're different, and you say, I had to accept it, so you got to accept it too. You're just different. We're just different, goddammit. But what is it? What is the saying? 
God ain't going to put too much on you that you can't bear. Never going to put too much on you can't bear. He give his strongest battles to the strongest soldiers. You know what I'm saying? So just know that, you, like I said, you built for a tough, you can do it. I don't give a fuck how long. I know you tired. I know you're tired. I'm past the state of being tired. I don't even care no more. It's just, it is what it is. I know that it's just a job for them. You know, you know, it, I, I just, that's what I realized come to, come to term when it's just a job for them. You know, they can't help it. And they can't help And then they be just stern, don't they? They be all in your damn car. They be trying to see who you is. These motherfuckers, they have, they, boy, these motherfuckers, boy, I tell you. This what kill me how they stare at you and be looking at your car and, and, and or they'll be like and they'll just turn their head and act like they don't get damn it uh like they don't want you to see their face or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Just all type of dumb shit. They just look foolish. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes they give you a good laugh. So when you out and you see these dumb motherfuckers, sometimes they give you a good laugh, a real good laugh. Hey, you tripping off their ass. Y'all, I be tripping off their ass. I need some lip gloss. I don't know. Around this time, my lips be chopped like a motherfucker. I don't know where it's. But yeah, y'all. Just like, just, just, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really, ain't nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you're going through it, you know it's heavy. Keep your evidence. Keep recording. Do what you got to do. If you feel like that, I'm talking about tag numbers. Whatever you got to do, be bold. Be real bold. You know what I'm saying? They bold enough to stalk you, and they want you to see that they stalk you. They want you to see it. They know that you, you know what I'm saying? They do all type of dumb shit. Hold a line up. When you go to the store, here they come. It probably ain't nobody at the store till you get to that motherfucker. It probably be about three people in the whole store. I told him, I ain't God bless you. I said something. God bless your soul. That motherfucker got mad at me and tried to start cussing me out. You know, as I said, try because he didn't get away with it. But the motherfucker tried to start cursing me out because I said, God bless your soul. I, you know, I think, I don't know what, what he did, but I said, God bless your soul. I mean, I can't even get mad at him no more. It's just a job. Once you get in your head that it is just a job and they just doing what they was told to do, then, you know, it'll be a better place. Because we ain't going nowhere. And it don't look like they going nowhere too fast until, they, until the karma hit their ass. We just got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like what I always tell you, cheer up, beautiful. You got this. You got this shit. You've been, you been doing it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you're tired. You know what I'm saying? You're tired. There ain't nothing wrong with being tired, but we can't give up. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep on trucking shit. I've been, I've been going through this shit. I'm going to tell you, I woke up in 20, I woke up in 2019, but the guy talking that I know of was, it, it was, it been going on since like 2017, 2018. But when I woke up, that's when I realized that, damn, that's why they happened in 2017 and 2018. And this shit going on in 2019. That's why it happened because the whole time I was being a target and I didn't know it. I was awoke. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to say that shit again. I'm going to say it again. I woke up in 2019. I had a spiritual awakening. When I when I say this, what, what led me to a spiritual awakening, you usually go through life or death experiences, right? Uh, certain things that happen like... Yeah, you go through. I thought somebody was down. So yeah, you go through life and death experience, and then in a city uh, somewhere, you know, and it's what happened to me. And, um, I ain't never spoken tongue, y'all. I was speaking in tongue and everything. And it was weird to me, bro. And I can't even. I can't say I can't do it no more. But I guess if I'm put in a situation where I have to do it, I guess if it come out, it comes out. And, and they say that it's God when you speak in tongue. And I'm absolutely here to tell you. My testimony, it is God. When you speak, it is God, bro. It is God. Motherfucker will fuck with me, bro. I'm telling y'all, and God, and I just start, uh, I just start speaking in tongue. And the motherfucker left me alone. Well, they still were trying, but, you know, what they tried to accomplish right then and there, they couldn't get it. They, they couldn't accomplish me. So, accomplish it so you couldn't get me. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't going to get me because my soul is my soul. You see what I'm saying? Like, your soul is your soul. Bitch, you ain't finna take that from me. That's how, that's how me right there, baby. That's how me. So, I'm saying, they just doing their job, y'all. Just don't even, what? Yo, look in the oven. It ain't got no... Huh? I think some in the freezer. 
I think so. I'm in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Okay. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, so what I was talking about, I don't even remember y'all. Cap said, what's up, y'all? Oh, 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 he beat. Say, what's up, Cap? But yeah, um, just, just, um, y'all be, you'll be okay. Just know that, I think I was talking about when it started for me. But yeah, that's when it started for me, 2019. 2000, 2000, it started in 2019, that's when I had awakening. You go, yeah, that's what I was talking about. So you go through your life or death experience, right? And then it, it, it'll wake you up. So that's what, the, my life or death experience to me, um, I don't know, we all have different, but it's like, what woke me up was, no, well, well, yeah, you do have life and death experience and that wake you up. But I'm telling you what woke me up. What woke me up was the guy stalking, bro. I didn't know where this shit was coming from. I knew who was a part of it. You know, I was seeing who was a part of it, everybody who was around me. But it just kind of overwhelmed me because it started, like, March the 5th, 12 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock p.m. That's actually the morning, right? So 12 o'clock, I was seeing a number of drive-out tags, people just popping out of everywhere. They tried to kidnap me. Pulled up to my grandma's house. My spirit, my spirit was like, my spirit guy said, "Get, don't get out the car," cause I seen them at the corner, and then they did some type of light, moved the light, looked like it could have been a mirror or something. So it reflected off of the school that was across the street from my grandma's um, house. So I was like, I paid attention to all that, like they were communicating through the light or some shit, or they wanted me to see the light or whatever. But anyway, my spirit guy said, "Don't get out the car, get back in the car." So I got back in the car, pulled off. But anyway, where I was at the store, and it's just like cars were swarming. Cars were swarming out of nowhere. Ugh. Everybody had tinted windows. Ow, 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 ow. Number drive out tags. That's all you see. Come on, get out. Number drive out tags, y'all. That's all you see is drive out tag. And, um, uh, shit was just weird. Then you see everybody with one headlight, and it, it just was like, what the fuck is really going on? So I think that's what, and then, yeah, that's what woke me up. That's what woke me up. And then I just, like, every little thing, I would think back on something, and then I just get an aha moment, and this shit was just waking me up completely. So I think, I don't know, I think I was in the house, I was in the bathroom when it happened. I was in the house. I was in the bathroom when it happened. I just took everything off me. I threw this shit, everything down to the jewelry I had on. I threw it away. I don't know why. I just did. And from then on, I was slowly changing, changing, changing. And then I just had a transformation. I wasn't the same person. Like, I couldn't even talk to the same people or deal with them, go around them, be in the room with them for a long time or even be in the room with them at all. It was just everything about my past just was gone. Like, it was weird. But it happened. It happened like that. So, that's when I noticed how I was. I just want to tell y'all my little story. So, it's different for everybody. Some people go through life and their experience where they almost get killed or they, they die and they, die, they come back. You know, things like that. And, you know, some people go to hell and come back. It's just different, you know. So, yeah, so that's what it was for me. It's different for everybody. And then when I woke up, they, I was already getting gang stalked before that. I, I assumed they already know who I was. So, they knew. They were, first of all, I would try to keep me asleep by putting me through trauma. It didn't work. So, once I fully woke up, then the gang stalk was really, really heavy. Really, really heavy because I was woke and I know stuff. And I knew things that I guess I assumed that I should know. But I guess that was my spiritual gifts coming out. You know what I'm saying? So, I can always read people, though, when I'm around them. And just read people. I can read energy, but I didn't know what it was to, to you know, back then when I was young or small, I didn't really know. I just knew I was different or something was wrong or I could feel people energy. So I used to want to be by myself all the time, right? In my room and stuff. By myself, nobody around because I could pick up on energy. I didn't really know what it was. I just knew it was a thing with me. So then my dad just took the hinges off my door because he was like, okay, you want to stay in your room? Stay to yourself. He already knew who I was though, the whole time. He, he already knew who I was. Crazy. Been doing spell work crazy but i i went woke to realize what it was but now i know you know what i'm saying now i can think back about, about certain things and why they happen you know what i'm saying so boom this day so now just and then you know i went through it too when my dad he was doing the same thing to people too 
You know what I'm saying? I was in the car with him, but I didn't know what it was back then, but now I knew. So, therefore, now, since I was a part of it, because I was with him, so now it's on me to break the generational curse. I don't want no positive. That's not what I want. I'm a social justice warrior. I don't want to be... I don't want to be evil. I don't want to. I don't want to stop people. I can't do it. I don't have it in me. He's sitting up here going to sleep. I don't have it in me. Just looking dead in me. I don't have it in me to uh, gang stop. I just don't. I don't have the time of day. It's too much. It, it's too much on the person. If that's what woke me up, because it was too fucking much. It was. It was weird. It was really weird. That was some weird shit. And then now I, I be thinking to myself, how can that shit work on somebody to drive them crazy? My like, shit, you, you, you can be stronger than that. But some people ain't stronger than that. Sometimes they do send some people to the crazy house. It should have been fuck that. It'll mess with that person's head. It will, but you got to be strong. You know what I'm saying? You got to be real strong. If somebody tried to poison me uh, several times on different occasions, uh, do stuff to me in my dreams while I'm asleep, trying to take, you know what I'm saying? All these, because they'll do shit in your dreams and to try to turn you evil. This is the one I'm telling you because I've been through it. So I'm telling you. This is all the stuff, the tactics that they use. They tried to turn me evil, bro. It was three witches. Or should I say three bitches. And it was three of them. All of them had on black robes with hoods on their head. Them folks tried to... We were sitting at some type of table. Like, it was like a round table. They was... I don't know, it was weird. So I don't know. What y'all call yourself? The head councils or some shit? I don't know. What y'all call yourself? But I bet y'all doing pretty bad right now to see me sitting where I am and to see where you at and see what you accomplished because you didn't accomplish shit over here. You never was. That's why I don't know why my folks didn't tell you who the fuck I was. He should have told you. He should have told you. But you know what? I guess you had to find out for yourself. So, my other folks tried to take, my bro tried to turn me evil in my dreams, bro. It wasn't happening. The lion came out, lion of Judah came out, scared the hell out of me, y'all. I woke up. The lion was so big, y'all. I woke up, and then I was sitting. I think I was meditating one time. I know I'm talking off the record, but I just be, I don't have nobody to talk to, so just, you know what I'm saying, listen. So, uh, I think I was meditating or something, right? And I, I was like, it was like neon colors. It was like, you know what neon colors, like green, pink. It was like everything was like that. The flowers were so pretty. And it was reminding me of, a, what's that movie? Avatar. So you know how Avatar, when the plants and stuff was a different color, it was like that. So I was walking, and it was a lion walking with me. So I don't know, I think I'm protected by a lion because every time I meditate or something, I'm going to meditation or like when I was dreaming and they tried to come through, a lion came out, Lion of Judah. So I, I and I was walking, so I get like I walked in a field, but it was like flowers everywhere, everything was neon color, and it was a lion walking with me, like the lion protecting me or something. I guess I'm assuming, cause it won't let me go nowhere without it. Like everywhere I go, the lion's gonna go travel with me, and it was weird. So I don't know what else, but everybody had a, uh, you know what I'm saying? They uh, lit right there. So, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. I'm going to let y'all go because I don't want to hold y'all, but because I go on for days, I got plenty of stories to tell your ass or hear you sit at the edge of your seat. Maybe one day I'll come and eat and then, you know, eat a little and do like a story time or some shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I got the kids in there. So we just chill. I'm probably going to go out there and watch a uh, little, uh, little women in L.A., you know, the little bitches. They like watching it. So I'm going to go there and watch them with them. But, you know, just to te just to let you know, uh, you can get through this. I, I promise you, you can get through this. You're strong. You're real strong. And like I said, when gang stalkers, they can't get you. And they know they can't. When they know you're too strong, they want to try to recruit you. Initiate your recruit you. And then that can't happen. It's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. I don't know why they, I don't know why they try so hard. I guess it's just a job for them. They got to do it regardless. Just something they got to do. And then their life be fucked up and all messed up. And they ain't got nothing to lose. And it's, it's a thing. And they kind of look like it's a hobby to them. You know? So, I just learned to, like, days when I want to fuck out, you know, get on their level. I do some days. I don't, I don't be. I'm just not studying their ass. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you will be that it's just a job for them. And then, like I said, suit up, boot up, put your arm on. Bro, you, you, uh, ain't nobody touching you. Ain't nobody touching you. They can look. They can do little stupid shit. They don't try to put you know, put try to hit your car. Do little type of swipe your car, plug it, uh, put holes in your shit. Uh, one time I got into it with a girl in traffic and she was doing something, so I got in front of her and I stopped traffic. So everybody who was behind me, you got to stop or you gonna go around. But it, my key thing was to stop her. 
So I stopped and she said behind me. She just, you know, just sit there. I made her wait for about a whole minute in traffic. I gave her 60 seconds before I pulled off. But anyway, I went somewhere, came back, went to the next shop. The little, the little heifer came back and keyed my car. Keyed the mess out the car. She keyed it, y'all. So, you know, you got to go through things like that. You know, it is what it is. You know, expect it, unexpected it with them. Or, you know, I would pull it in the driveway and... Now, I don't know what I did. I did. I know I was going down the street, and a car just uh, and went in somebody else's driveway just to bag up where they could have. They could have did some other shit, but they it was just weird what they did. You know what I'm saying? Like they wanted me to hit them. You know? It's like they were acting like they gonna keep straight, but they hear it up and turn real quick. So I got a smash on the gas, that type of thing. But I did. I just you know I crew I was cruising, but that they, they do all type of shit. You just gotta. Man, boy, I promise you everywhere I go, it's going to be a dumb ass ambulance or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody in the ambulance that ain't even, uh, uh don't even post being in both. I ain't got license to be in an ambulance driving it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they just do all type of dumb shit. You know, follow y'all in the store. It's just something they do. You Everywhere you go, you hear horns and shit or, you know, Car alarm going off. Boop, boop. Well, you hear all type of shit. Sometimes I fuck with them. I do it too. You know what I'm saying? I see them. They finna walk past my car and I set the car alarm off. I do stupid shit like that too. I can get down too. I can get. You know what I'm saying? But it don't even. It really don't make it right. It just feel good. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, you ain't gotta. God is love. Remember that. I always remember that. No matter what, I always remember that. God is love. And and um. Uh, you get through it. Just another day. Some of y'all don't even like getting up going out. Because you don't want to run into them when I'm dumbest. But, man, you can't let these people slow you down. You can't let these people stop you. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Because they, I promise you they will. You just got to keep fighting. You got to keep going. Because one day, this shit has got to stop. It's got to come. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't know if it ever will. You know, gang stalking, period. But... It is a way for the for I feel like some people will be gang stalked that, that it do stop for them. I don't know if it stopped for a while, then it come back or you know, they completely stop or it's always gonna be somebody watching or something you know what I'm saying? Keep your tabs on you. I just don't think it truly actually stop. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, we all be gang stalked for different reasons because we gifted, because we know too much, because we said something, or you know we said something about a situation or something. Or, you know, it's 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 a lot of reasons, but it is what it is. And everybody know, and they have they everybody a part of it. Everybody, even family, even family, and they act like they don't know, and they the mind ones who know. But you know, of course, they can't say nothing because they don't. I guess they don't want to get in trouble. It, you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. But I know, and I want you to know that I, I want you to know that I know. I want you to know that I know that you know. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's all I'm, you know, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there. Just know it's just a job for them. That's how they get paid. That's how they get their money. Some of them get off by, some of them look at it like it's a hobby. Fuck it. It is what it is. Like I said, ain't nobody finna give up or, or give in. All right, y'all. Another thing. One more thing. I'm going to do an add-on to this video. Choose your battles wisely. Know when and when not to react. They want you to react. They want you to react. They want you to cut up. They want to do shit to you and try to make you look crazy when you react. So just know that you have to pick and choose your battles wisely. Okay? It's a must you do that. Just because I do certain things don't mean you can do it. All this only if you want to. Everybody's grown. Remember God is love, though. Just remember that. Sometimes it do be hard not to react when they do dumb shit. But just know that they, that's what they want. They want to get a rise out of you. That's what they want. So you don't have to give them what they want. You absolutely don't have to. But some days I do think they definitely deserve it. And I am human. So sometimes I will definitely give them what the hell they want. But I always pick and choose my battles wisely. You know what I'm saying? So just know that, and I just felt like I thought that um I would add that in there just to tell you to pick and choose your battle. But every action, every action don't need a reaction. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I can just because they can't stand with you to pay their ass no attention. They can't stand that shit. Act like you don't say them. Pay them no attention. They hurt them even more. Just to let you know. Just to be real about it. You know what I'm saying? Every action doesn't need a reaction. 
You know, in a commercial, they be coming on, they be eating that sideways shit, they be like, no reaction. That's what I'm saying, no reaction, goddamn, you ain't got to give them no reaction, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it.